Hi Virgo, welcome to your new moon in Taurus Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, actually it's the new moon in Taurus. This is for Virgo. <laughs> so Virgo, we're looking at the new moon, which can be about new beginnings, uh, new intentions, and in Taurus can be about um, what is real, what lives up to our morals, values, inner wisdom, what's of uh, authenticity, what's of integrity as well. And it also is about love because Venus is also um, Libra and Taurus, so it's also about love. And I just want to say I'm not an astrologist at all, so I'm just here to read the cards on the energy. All right, Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. So welcome in Virgo. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Now, if something shows up here you're not interested in, probably not your reading. Never, ever twist it to fit it. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. But, you know, hopefully it will be. All right. So we have boundaries. Life purpose. This is crazy because I just did Taurus and they have the same exact cards here. So I don't know if you have Taurus in your chart or if you're dealing with a fellow Earth sign. You may want to go watch that. Yin and Yang. That's definitely about balance, masculine and feminine, and divine. These are all the same except for Yin and Yang. That is just crazy. And I shuffled these cards good before. But we do have soulmate energy here. I just wanted to pull one more because you got a lot of um, same cards here as Taurus. So, well, we definitely have a soulmate energy here. I, th I th kind of feel like here, um, I'm just trying to get the energy here. So we do have the soulmate, but I also feel like, um, oh my God, we do have love. Just saying, I just feel bad because you have the same cards um, so I mean I could have started over but um, we do have forgiveness as well I just wanted to pull you a few extras since you had some of the same cards as um, Taurus so there could have been some boundaries put in place here but I think it's um, purpose of this energy is to come back together because you are soulmates there is a love here so there could be something about forgiveness which balances out the energy maybe coming from the masculine side you know maybe they're asking for forgiveness in some way shape or form maybe over something that happened you know maybe they weren't giving us back as much as you were uh whatever the case may be and maybe you put up a boundary and you know you're like you you got to go take care of yourself you got to go balance yourself out figure yourself out and until then don't come back until you know exactly what you want so that could be what's going on here phew i am like really hot all of a sudden all right okay so Virgo, let's see what is going on for you. Everything you need to know, Virgo, is down below in the description box. Your playlist is down there, as well as the list of eight love readings I do here. So if you are new, you can check out that list and see if you uh, like what I do. If you like general readings, my other channel is below as well. It's my smaller channel. Uh, two journals per month per sign, and you can see if that's something you're interested in as well. All right, Virgo, so let us see here. What do we have for Virgo? What does all this mean? Okay. Let's see. So we have the Two of Swords and we have the Emperor in Reverse. So we definitely have like a masculine type energy. And remember, females can be masculine. That definitely did not know what they wanted <laughs> with this Two of Swords energy. Oh, we got a little too much there. All right. So I just want like two or three more. More Virgo. Eight of Wands. Palace of Swords the star hmm. so this there is a divinely guided energy here with the star but we do have the eight of wands here which means i feel like um this masculine type energy didn't know what they want they couldn't make a decision and so therefore nothing moved forward palace of swords i feel like someone definitely here could be you virgo so things clearly now like okay i see i clearly see here what you're doing what you want what you don't want and where this is going but we do have the star here, which, again, is faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things that are meant to be, healing and balance. So there is a sense of this being divinely guided and something meant to be. But I definitely feel like, yeah, masculine definitely conflicted here. So 
I'm going to ask why. Like, why? Why are they indecisive and conflicted and not moving it forward with you? Maybe they had some healing to do. Maybe they need peace of mind and clarity. Four of Cups in reverse. Now it's kind of like, I feel like you knew what you wanted here. Definitely with the Four of Cups reversed. Four of Swords. So definitely we have one knowing what they want and the other one kind of like, I don't know, and kind of retracting their energy. Queen of Coins reversed. So that could be Virgo like or them. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not in a good place. I don't know what I want. Maybe someone wanted to be single. Nine of Pentacles here. Palace of Wands. Could have been all about the passion. Three of, uh, eight of Coins. Hmm. So I definitely feel like here, um, Nine of Cups. Temperance Reverse. Yeah, somebody had to go balance out their energy here. But let's see. We have Aquarius, Aries showing up. And that Palace of Swords can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, Virgo, let's see. So, let's see. Um, look, that I was just going to freaking ask something, and now I don't remember the star. So, what? Why? Okay. Why Why are they in this um, energy? Like, indecisive, not taking action, non-action, indecisive. Why? Why does this Emperor not know what they want? Or Virgo. Emperor, Empress, whatever it is for you. We'll say this person. King of Swords. Hmm. Six of Swords. Nine of Cups. They could have recently moved out of an um, unhappy relationship or marriage because the King of Swords, for me, King, Queen of Swords in the deck can be uh, somebody who's divorced. Temperance. Reversed. Ten of Wands. Wow. So this person definitely has, I feel like, a lot of baggage. I feel like they came on out of a very unhappy Six of Swords, moved out of a very unhappy Nine of Cups reversed. King of Swords, definitely they could be divorced or something like that. Um, out of a very unhappy connection. We do have Temperance in reverse, which means it probably was a co uh, karmic soulmate connection they were in. Very unbalanced, very um, not a great energy with temperance in reverse. So I feel like they got a lot of baggage right now. And that's why they probably weren't even ready for a new relationship. This could have been um, a rebound. This could have been just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to forget about the whole situation and go meet somebody new, which isn't really the right way to deal with the situation either. So let's see, we have Gemini Sag showing up here. Yeah, they definitely have baggage. But I feel like they're hiding it. Or they were trying to hide it. But then when they got this energy of not knowing what they wanted, retracting their energy, not really moving forward, I think you realize, oh yeah, this person, now there's something going on. Red flags probably went up. Like, they got some sort of baggage they need to heal. Knight of Swords. This could have happened very, very quickly, like out of the blue. But you sense that energy of holding back. But there is a promise here, though, with the Ace of Pentacles of something. Soulmate connection here. So there is the promise here of something. Queen of Cups and Six of Wands. Hmm. Interesting, because the Queen of Cups usually is about love, emotions, and feelings, but it's in reverse. So I think you were not feeling like them giving love or affection like they should be. So you definitely felt like something was lacking here. With the five of coins. They could have, you know, children. Maybe they were married. Two of wands. I feel like they just went on this path of, I'm just going to find someone new. And it's just going to help me forget about the past. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Does not work that way. All right. So let's see. Let's see if we get um, more about their baggage, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we need to know for Virgo? What else do we need to know for Virgo? This person. I feel like it's their energy. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Five of Coins. They may not have liked being alone either. Five of Swords. Palace of Coins. The sun, oh my gosh. 
So, I mean, the Five of Swords isn't the best energy. We do have two fives here, which are about change, but then also would be ten endings and new beginnings. See, in their mind with this Five of Swords, it's almost like they, they felt defeated and they end up sabotaging themselves because they're like, oh yeah, I don't want to be alone or lonely. So I'm walking away from this, but I want to go right into another stable grounded relationship and that's what's going to heal me. And that's not how it works. So they actually came into the energy, not, not that they maybe purposely were doing this, but in their mind, they thought that was the way to heal. But really, it wasn't with the Five of Swords here. No, they were just sabotaging themselves and the new connection they were getting into, even if they didn't see it. And now, you know, this Palace of Coins thinking, all right, jump right into another solid, stable relationship, being committed or whatever the case may be, and everything will be fine and everything will heal. Page of Cups reverse. No, that's not how it works. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we have Leo energy here. Wow. King of Wands. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person was determined, determined, but um, realizing, yeah, don't work that way. Because not only does it not work that way, it also brings in interference into a new connection where things are not going to be balanced. All right, so let's see here, um, Virgo. Uh, so you could also have realized this and kind of sent them on their way as well with the Eight of Cups. All right, so let's see here, um, Virgo. So what's going to happen next in this situation? So what is this person doing now? What is, so we did have boundaries there. So I feel like you you realized, okay, yeah, I get it now. And you put that boundary in. I, and you can be concentrating on you, your purpose right now. The world reversed. Ten of cups. The fool. Well, that could be the energetic reset right here. The six of wands. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that could have been you, Virgos. You know, we do have the King Queen of Swords here, so there is a match. There's no doubt about it. So, I mean, you could have had that intense connection in what felt like a match, but also the energy they were coming in to the connection, thinking, okay, this is just going to heal me and I'll forget about the past. It don't work that way. But then also, I mean, we do have a real connection here. But because they didn't properly heal from their past, whatever the case may be, that's an interference here. But, I mean, the world here definitely could be about this person coming back as well, because it is in reverse and definitely not over between the two of you. So the Ten of Cups and the Fool and the Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. So maybe you outright told them, <laughs> outright told them, look, you know, that's not how it works. You know, you just can't jump in another relationship without healing and disconnecting from your past or cutting the cords or doing whatever you need to do. So you need to go heal that. You need to go disconnect from that. You need to go get counseling therapy, whatever you need to do to successfully overcome that energy, to reset your energy so that when you come towards me, you are coming from a clean slate, not with baggage. This is like releasing the baggage. No baggage here. The fool goes into the new with very little or no baggage. And I don't even think this fool has any baggage. He doesn't even have a full face. <laughs> wow. So let's see, we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Libra. So they could successfully be doing this. Like, you know, maybe you told them the truth and maybe they didn't see that that way. And now that they see it because you told them, whatever the case may be, you know, maybe they were like, oh, okay, I get it now. And you probably said, it's done for now unless you, you know, do what you need to do. And if you come back balanced, then we'll see where it goes. Hmm, but something's not done. I mean, we have the world in reverse. On the wheels. So we got fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be. Things getting better, moving in the right direction. Eight of Pentacles definitely could be putting in the work and then the... 
strength card here. Strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe past lives together. Being strong, courageous, and brave. Holding back. Willpower. Determination. It's someone overcoming something here and putting in the work. King of Wands. Hangman. Could be getting ready to take action here. The Hangman Reverse. For what? The Soulmate Union here. In their power now with the King of Wands. And the King of Coins. Wow. And that is my Virgo card. So, and we have a match, really. So, didn't we just see the Queen of Coins? Right? Did we see the Queen of Coins? No. Okay, I thought we did. But, um... King of Coins, you are Virgo. Maybe you stop talking to this person altogether. Page of Swords reversed. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I do feel like... Balancing out and forgiveness, definitely here. And it's connected to the masculine right here. There is love here and a soulmate energy. All right, so let's see here how this is going to work out for you, Virgo. What else do we need to know? How is this going to need? How is this going to work out for Virgo? What else do we need to know? Queen of Coins reverse. Wow, that's just crazy because I just said. Can we just see the queen? And there she is, but she's in reverse. So you may be a little unsure, but let's see. Oh, the three of cups reuniting, celebrating queen of cups. I don't think you're going all in. Let's see. We have three queens. Four queens would be the empress. Knight of wands. Hmm. In reverse, though. And the ten of coins. This does have the energy to go all the way. Knight of Wands, like the Knight of Pentacles upright. So I think there's a chance here for, for you reuniting, maybe starting over, courting, dating, getting to know as well. But I don't see like a full blown, like jumping in, all in, like committed or jumping right into love again. I think this is very slow energy because, like I said, Knight of Wands is like Knight of Pentacles upright, kind of. So actually, the Knight of Swords and Reverse is the Knight of Wands upright. But I was meant to say it that way. So. This is going to take time, so I think, okay, let's take it slow. Let's see if we get to the Ten of Pentacles, but I'm not giving you my whole heart, and I'm not going in 100% either. We're just going to see how it goes here. That's kind of what I feel. So, oh my gosh, we have the Tree of Life. So this is like past life, roots run deep, past life, this life, room, always room for growth, expansion as well, deeply connected. Ace of Cups. I definitely reverse here. I definitely feel like there's not going to be a full-blown let's jump right in. Nope. Three of Coins in reverse. But it may grow quicker than you think. Nine of Wands. So somebody definitely was struggling through something. A lot of up and down energy here. Two of Pentacles. A lot of energy within someone had to deal with, with the devil. But we did see the Strength card uh, a few minutes ago, which Strength can overcome anything. Justice. Reverse. Six of Cups tower yeah it definitely was an unfair situation that they put you in because of their situation but we do have the massive change here awakening epiphany aha moment shock surprise revelation and then a return here eight of coins building slowly i felt that and there's the strength overcoming so i think this can be overcome we do have that connection here of the lovers yep just saying so let's see we have this is capricorn that could be you virgo cancer sag so virgo there is a chance here to work this out and just like start over because they definitely they definitely did not think this through like oh i can just jump in another relationship and i'll heal and we'll just i'll just move on no it doesn't work that way so guess what all their baggage that they didn't release or heal from caught up to them in this connection which is not a good thing but you know with that boundary and sending them on their way here to deal with that i mean there could be a chance here for this now to um come together the proper way but it's totally going to be up to you Virgo. all right so let's see here let's see if this did resonate please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell um any support given is greatly greatly appreciated support all your favorite readers because this platform isn't for some reason um and it's greatly appreciated i'm sure we all appreciate it. and again everything you need is below so we have song of the wild maybe they just had to go 
that is like <laughs> trying new things, getting out there, experiencing new things. Sweat Lodge. So that is definitely about uh, purging. Walking in beauty. Yeah, so we have this energy of them needing to go get all their energy out, whether it's frustrations they had, all that like pent up energy that they kept inside, thinking they could just, you know, it would just go away or whatever. And maybe they just needed to get out there and let it all out, you know, being like wild. And I don't mean like sleeping around, like just maybe trying new things, you know, going, you know, I don't know, doing things to release this energy and purging it, which is a good thing. And now we have this walking in beauty, which is actually a good energy. And prayer feathers. So definitely that is, um, that is a good energy as well. I'm just going to read you a little bit here. Um, prayer feather. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Love is flowing to you and through you, no matter what an indi individual is saying or doing. Wow. Love him or her anyway. Wow. Gather your inner forces silently and secretly. Love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectations. It's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when they aren't. Wow. I just want to see what this song, um, Song of the Wild has to say here. New horizons await you. You're ready to savor the wonders of the world. Take some risks. Answer the call of the wild. Step out of your comfort zone. Live passionately. Take steps in the direction of freedom. I feel like this is definitely them freeing themselves from that baggage. They definitely needed to do that. Expand beyond your limitations and boundaries. Yeah, this definitely was holding them back. Maybe it's time to take a journey or do something new and exciting. I felt like they definitely had to get out there on their own and just like... What do they call that in Australia when they go on that, um, as like a young person, they have to go on like a, a walk or something alone or something. I forgot what it's called. So, wow. So let's see. Spirit of water. So you're going to be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but that's also about purging, healing, releasing, going with the flow, not rushing, diving deep into emotions, feelings, and it's also very cleansing. And, you know, spirit is very, uh, spirit, <laughs> water is very healing as well. A lot of healing and purging here. And finally getting out, like, frustrations. We do have luck expansion here as well. And maybe, you know, you've been praying for this person to do this. And now we have that walking in beauty, which is a really good energy. So obviously it's going to be up to you, Virgo. But if you want to see where this goes with this person because they definitely need to do this on their own and kind of almost a similar reading to Taurus. So um, if you want to go watch that, if you're connected to a Taurus, have Taurus in your chart or they do because we did get some of the same cards here as well. All right, Virgo, I'm wishing you the best um, and I hope to see you next time.